हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट 28 ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लारावल सेवन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन स्वीट अलर्ट दैट इज दी जे क्वारी लाइब्रेरी ओके सो दैट वी वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट बिकॉज समाइम इट हैपन्स दैट वी डिलीट समथिंग बाय मिस्टेक सो वी वॉन्ट हेयर अलर्ट लाइक इफ द एडमिन वॉन्ट्स टू डिलीट समथिंग लाइक इफ द एडमिन वॉन्ट्स टू डिलीट दिस कैजुअल टी शर्ट बट ही क्लिक्स ऑन दिस डेनिम्स डिलीट लिंक बाय मिस्टेक एंड देन मीन्स ही कॉन्ट रोल बैक फ्रॉम हेयर दैट इफ ही डिलीट इन केस रॉन्ग wrong category then uh, there is no way that he can bring that back okay so uh, we want here some kind of alert some kind of good alert uh, that will confirm that want the confirmation from the admin that actually you want to delete this or not are you sure are you sure you want to delete this thing okay so that kind of thing we want uh, here in this video in last video we have done this delete functionality you have seen that we have done the delete functionality for categories we have done the delete functionality for category image okay uh, see we uh, have added i will add some image uh, like we have added in last video okay so i am going to add some image here and submit okay then see okay so we have done this delete image functionality and delete category functionality in last video and this time uh here as well delete image while deleting the image we will prompt the user we will prompt the admin that are you sure you want to delete okay and while deleting the categories as well we will make that alert once again and not only here whatever section we are going to do we are going to work on product section we are going to work on order section okay everywhere we are going to put uh, this kind of alert okay so now there are two kinds of alert Uh, one is the simple jquery alert simple jquery confirm uh, that you can add and that will take only few minutes to add okay so that thing you can add but we will make common function we will make common jquery function for all the sections of admin panel so you need not to do anything you need not to do uh, any coding uh, as far as the jquery is concerned you just need to make the link and need to pass some kind of add id and class and uh, and that's it okay so we will make that function dynamic okay dynamic kind of jquery function for simple alert and for sweet alert 2 okay so we are going to add sweet alert 2 okay and that is the latest sweet alert uh, that uh, that javascript library that we are going to integrate in this video but first of all we are going to add simple javascript alert simple javascript query simple javascript oh, sorry simple javascript function uh, with confirm okay so that thing we are going to do so let's start first of all i am going to add the uh, add for delete category so i am going to update this page this page you need to open categories.blade.php file and here you need to go uh, delete link okay so it is given here okay so uh, there are uh, i am going to pass the class here okay i will make one class i will make one common class like confirm delete okay i will add this class everywhere like uh, if i want to delete products if i want to delete some uh, other thing okay so in future so i will use this class again so confirm delete so i have not given here confirm category confirm product okay i have just given confirm delete that uh, the user or admin need to confirm this delete okay uh, yeah confirm delete and now i am going to add the name okay see simple thing name i will add as category okay every time like if you are going to do the category image then you will put category image if you are going to do the product you are going to put the product okay it's up to you this name is just like are you sure you want to delete this category so so this is such kind of name that we are going to pass in jquery function okay so uh, rest everything is fine nothing else required okay now we can uh, create our jquery function in our file admin script file simple enough in admin script file we can create our jquery here okay so here 
I will just mention uh, confirm delete confirm deletion of record okay any record okay uh, here it is coming as category okay or uh, anything else like category image or product okay whatever will co uh, will come in future okay so uh, i am going to uh, that class i am going to uh, have that class confirmed lead okay we are having that class confirmed lead and based on the click of this uh, function to take like this okay so i am going to uh, pick that name okay name we are getting uh, in name inst yeah like this dollar this and its attribute is name from name we are getting the name that uh, we are going to use and now we are going to mention the confirm okay we are having like if confirm if uh, like we're going to pass are you sure to delete this now i am going to mention this name that we are passing from there so i have not mentioned here otherwise you can do simply are you sure you want to delete this or are you sure you want to delete this record okay but it is better if you will pass name uh, and mention this name here so it is simple enough uh, to mention like plus name that plus okay uh, then question mark is also required like this okay uh, so that is fine yeah and see return true if uh, the admin will confirm to delete then return to otherwise it will come as return false okay so now we can check okay our uh, jquery function is ready and this one we can implement for all okay so i am going to click here delete okay so let's see here i'm going to delete this one and it must confirm it must ask us for deletion and i'm going to click on delete see here are you sure you delete this category okay so it is coming now uh, and if you will click on cancel that it will not do anything but if you will click on okay then it is going to delete this casual t-shirts category okay i'm going to click on okay this time okay let's see uh, so that thing has been littered and here it is coming category has been littered successfully okay so you can see that we able to add the simple jquery alert not only for categories but for future modules as well only two things you need to pass you need to pass uh, just uh, uh, class and name of that module name of that uh, section that you are working on okay so only these two things you need to pass and then uh, you will get that confirm alert kind of thing that you actually want to delete that thing or not okay so now we are going to work on sweet alert okay so for sweet alert it is a better kind of alert it is an attractive jquery script uh, that is provided uh, with sweet alert that javascript library okay so uh, there is one website you can search sweet alert to okay this is the website even if you will uh, search sweet alert to this website will come at the top you can just simply open this website and we are going to apply such kind of uh, uh, alert that looks better like this one are you sure this looks really good okay so in basic series as well i have done this kind of sweet alert and here also at that time we have added i think sweet alert and this time sweet alert 2 we are going to add okay so here if you will do cancel then it will do nothing and if you will do yes delete it then it is going to delete okay so this kind of alert i am going to add here uh, so let's see and i will add once again uh, some subcategories some two subcategories i'm going to add like uh, casual t-shirts so that we can delete them again uh, yeah under men and under t-shirts okay one we can add formal t-shirts norman 
अंडर टी शर्ट्स फॉर्मल टी शर्ट्स ओके डन ओके सो नाउ दैट स्वीट लर्ट काइंड ऑफ थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट एंड फॉर दैट आई विल जस्ट कमेंट दिस वन दिस वन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अनदर फंक्शन ओके दो आइडेंटिकल टू दिस Uh, but we will add the script uh, here as well in the, in inside this function as well okay so see here uh, now uh, we are going to follow uh, that uh, website so here uh, see first of all uh, for this one um, we need to install we can click on installation see you can install like this npm install suite alert 2 this command you can run to install this suite alert 2 Mm, or you can also add this one or you can do both okay we can try first add this one script src this uh, script they have provided so uh, i'm going to put this script in uh, admin layout dot blade dot php file uh, at last i can add this script okay so i can add uh, this script here and i want just uh, some uh, comment here as well it is better for it sweet alert script okay you can mention it here in comment okay uh, like this one so the script we have added and now what i am going to do i am going to apply here only and here uh, i am going to do something like uh, uh, confirmed it is fine class we have already given and here instead of name uh, i can uh, do something else like uh, i can mention here record this time and record uh, category record this is the category record or you can type record type okay and uh, one more thing i am going to do i am going to take record id okay here i am going to mention the id of this category this is the id that we are passing this id okay id of that record okay this one i am going to pass so two things record you can also mention record type okay and one is the record id okay so these two things you are going to pass and this link you are not going to pass here we are going to pass there in our jquery so i am going to disable this link and this link we can disable with the help of php uh, comment and this you can disable from here okay and i'm going to disable this one like this and instead of this one you can give a uh, simple href you can give and you not require the link so that you can disable the link like this okay so now uh, confirmed lead uh, category everything is there now i'm going to copy this function once again and uh, yeah this one okay so here i am going to mention this one here once again and this one uh, we are going to confirm deletion with speed alert like this okay this is command so now two things we are getting here one is we are getting here record record is coming like category is coming here and uh, another thing we are getting the record id category id we are getting okay we are making it dynamic so that's why we have uh, taken the common word uh, for both okay one is the record and one is the record id in record category is coming in record id uh, that uh, that category id is coming okay so now first of all uh, see this is not required uh, this we can remove uh, now first of all i am just going to uh, check that whether the script is working and for that uh, i can use anything uh, like i can use this one and copy and paste there so that i can check whether the script is working fine or not okay if it is not working then we will check why it is not working might be some jquery issue or something okay so i am going to here mention it like this and i will run this one and here um, uh, nothing is there so i will also mention return false but it is it will not go anywhere because there is no url it will not read the category okay so i'm going to check here that see it is running fine script is running fine the internet that thing is still around okay 
so the you can see that uh, speed alert 2 uh, script is working fine only thing we have added that script uh, there in our file okay so the script is working fine now we can move forward and we can move forward uh, with the better script that we want uh, we want the script like this one the yeah, this one are you sure this one we want okay so i am going to copy the script now and we'll try with the script still we are doing nothing we are just copy and paste the script uh, just to try whether the script is working fine or not okay so uh, we can copy the script here uh, like this and now we are going to try once again that whether the script is working fine or not whether uh, yeah see here it is working fine if you will cancel it is cancelling if you yes it is then it is showing it is later okay but it is not doing anything but the script is working fine okay so we are passing two things here record and record id we are also having script now that is working uh, but we just need to make it dynamic see here uh, nothing you need to do uh, you are getting the script and here see, see the value like if the person clicks on ok then we are going to forward that person to that delete link to this one and if he will uh, he will cancel then nothing will happen uh, it is still uh, nothing is happening no return false is not required because it is not going to do anything okay so if he click yes okay you can delete it okay then it will take to this url and this url we can mention here okay inside this one uh, inside this one we can mention this url here okay so here we can do one thing window dot location dot h3 that it will take the person to, to our uh, that url that route okay admin uh, that route is delete uh, whatever it is so we are going to check that uh, yeah, we have given here okay see uh, so i am going to copy this one there so that i can make that route there uh, yeah, like this okay so okay it is admin uh, hyphen delete okay then a hyphen again after that uh, plus will come and this category is coming from record so we have it okay record fine after that plus again and after that uh, this one this one and then plus again and then record id okay fine this one also we are having so no issue record id is also there so our script is ready and this one we can remove okay so now it seems to be perfect we are sending to that url that we are sending from there now only difference is uh, we are sending earlier from this URL. Now we are sending the user uh, from here. If he, the user clicks on OK, clicks on Yes, he wants to delete. Okay, only then we are going to send the user to this URL. Okay, now we can try. Okay, so we are ready with it. Now we can try. I'm going to delete this formal T-shirt. Let's see. Yes, delete it. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one and see deleted and it is message is coming here category has been deleted successfully see how good it looks okay uh, that uh, is coming to you and now i'm going to delete another one like delete this one see are you sure i'm going to uh, click on cancel and then it will not going to delete okay so now it seems to be fine but you can do one thing uh, you can uh, remove this one this one is not required because we are uh, having our own message displayed here see our own message we are displaying so this one is not required only thing if result value is coming then only it will uh, return with this url okay so we can able to merge this one like this one time we can see once again and this is common for all this is common uh, for that uh, lead category image as well i'm going to show right now okay now i'm going to refresh here and you can see once again see here delete are you sure you want to able to revert you want to you can uh, you can give message here are you sure you won't be able to revert this this is fine warning are you sure here you can mention are you sure you want to delete sure you want to delete okay yes delete it everything seems to be fine you can make changes uh, as per your own requirement you can update the wordings here okay and see here delete if you will cancel 
then it will not do anything and delete if you will click on yes delete it then it is going to delete that record like this okay now it deleted and here confirmation message is also coming category has been deleted successfully okay so we able to integrate this sweet alert for our categories and now we can uh, do for this one for the images as well this is now very simple you no need to do anything here this is already done no need to do anything here just uh, you need to update the link there okay so that is very simple enough uh, we will take its route uh, it its page at edit category okay i am going to open this one add edit category okay and here in delete i am going to pick this one where it is given delete uh, delete category i'm going to search it delete. okay here it is okay so only thing we need to mention we just need to mention class we just need to mention record and we just need to mention record id and nothing else okay very simple enough okay here and yes uh, this href also we are going to disable this is not required okay so i am going to disable this one and because this one is required there only and it will automatically uh, fetch this one see now uh, first of all we will make href we are going to disable the link javascript uh right. zero okay this one you can remove like this okay then record in record this time see here now in record now in record earlier we have sent category now here what we will send we will send category hyphen image this one see this one we need to send see this is the url we are already having the url there admin slash delete hyphen and only this part we need to send every time so you need to make route like this delete hyphen product delete hyphen product hyphen image delete hyphen uh, something okay you will make this kind of route and only thing you need to pass you need to pass the internal thing of the route that particular thing that particular module you need to pass okay now this category image we are going to pass in this record okay so record id is very simple enough the record id is uh, here we need to pass this record id that is coming uh, this in this one i'm going to pass its id instead of image i'm going to pass it like this because it is coming in category data array so this is the id category data id okay so here uh, we have uh, mentioned the record id as well and that's set complete nothing else okay and now we can try we have not done much see now i'm going to see delete image okay so i think some kind of issue has come up and i'm going to check what issue exactly uh, record oh yeah sorry 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 this uh, i forgot to mention this one laravel uh, okay so now i'm going to try once again and see here lit image and still uh, there is some issue i'm going to check what issue we are facing here uh, yeah class we forgot okay so class is really important okay we have not mentioned the class how our jquery will run how our event will run so don't forget like this okay search only confirm now it is over okay confirm lead class is there href we have disabled record we have given cant category hyphen image and record id we have also mentioned okay so now we can try once again and see here delete image now it is coming fine are you sure cancel if you cancel it is nothing is happening here and if you will click on delete image once again and yes delete it then it is going to delete this record let's see see the record has been littered and it is showing category image has been littered successfully okay so now it is working very much fine and you can try once again okay so nothing we have done we have just updated the link with the class and ids and nothing else okay so once again i am going to add the image and once again i am going to remove it okay so just read image if you will cancel nothing will happen and if you will go, going to click on yes delete it then it is going to delete this one and then confirm message will come oh, okay so i think that uh, simple as well as uh, 
स्वीट अलर्ट टू इज क्लियर टू यू यू कैन इंटीग्रेट इन योर वेबसाइट एनी ऑफ योर वेबसाइट एंड यू कैन टेक बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस वन दिस इज रियली अट्रैक्टिव एंड श्योरली योर क्लाइंट विल लाइक इट ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन श्योरली कॉन्टेक्ट मी इन वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर नाउ हैव ए नाइस टाइम गुड बाय